Hi, welcome to this tutorial on listing your business on Google Places, why it's crucial for your local business, and what you can do to improve your rankings and draw new customers to your door. All for free and very easy to do. Now while the World Wide Web does imply that people come to the internet to get information from all around the globe, the name doesn't seem to leave a lot of room for another aspect of the internet. That most people rely on internet searches not just for worldwide, but for local information. Nearly 85% of people, in fact, rely on the internet when they're looking for local information. Where to order pizza? How late is the mall open? Who can repair my printer over the weekend? Internet searches and free tools like Google Places are fast becoming, well, to tell the truth, they've long already become what used to be the Yellow Pages or other printed business directories. Google Places, which is integrating with Google Maps and will soon become one entity, is the place where people can go to find your website and your physical location. If you're not listed, or not listed well, they're going to find and go visit your competitors. Let's give it a try and see what I'm talking about. Let's suppose you live in Denver. Halloween is approaching and you desperately need a wig. So you run to Google and type Denver Wig Shop to see what your options are. Now you'll notice that a Google map of Denver pops up, complete with several pins designating shop locations. Of course, if you spot a shop right around your corner, then good news for you, and good news for that shop. But that's not always the case. And here to the left, you've got the text and website listings of those top listed places in the Google Places panel. All of this before the standard Google hits. This is a great start for me, and it looks like I have plenty of options. Now what catches my eye next is that one of these shops has a bunch of stars next to it. Eight reviews in total, with a five-star rating that seems to put this shop above all the others. This is a great eye-catcher, and a good lesson that I should try to accumulate as many good reviews as I can for my business. Furthermore, if you click on any of these blue links, you'll go straight to the business's website. But check this out. By clicking on the reviews, if the business is smart enough and lucky enough to have them, and you get that business's Google Places profile page. In this case, they've done a good job of filling out their profile with good copywriting with effective keywords, plenty of pictures to give them a friendly face, and you can go through and read all of their reviews in full. Considering that a lot of their competitors don't have any reviews at all, this place has a very good chance of getting my business. So let's get started and do this for our business. We'll sign in to Google Places and check out just how easy it is to set up an effective profile. We've got basic information such as address and phone number, to hours of operation and payment options. The more information you fill in here, the better off you'll be when customers looking for your type of business, in your general location, come across your description. Now don't neglect to add a photo or videos if you have them. See, not only does all of this help make your profile more engaging for the people who find it, but the extra content and the tag information you have associated with that content will encourage Google to take more notice of you. So on that note, be sure that all of your descriptions and all of your tags are SEO optimized. That is, make sure that your prime keywords are not littered all over the place, but are featured well in your text. Back to the dashboard. Once you have your profile set up and running, you can access these user-friendly tools to get a very detailed analysis of how your business and your listing is performing in these online searches. How many people came to your website today? Did they find you through a search engine or did they click on a link from another website? What exactly were they searching for when they found your website? And what can you do to tailor your message or even tailor your product or service to better accommodate these customers? All of these tools will give you a picture like no other and will help you make smart decisions about how to capture the attention of more customers. And to really optimize your rankings, to earn you the number one slot on the search engines and in a primary spot on the Google Places panel, what should you do? 
It's tremendously overlooked, perhaps because it takes a bit of effort. But the number one thing that you can do to shoot past your competition is to get the customers that do walk in your door to post an online review. Whether this means that there's a notice on your comment card, or a little sign posted on the cash register, or even a face-to-face -face request, this little extra step will reap dividends. There you go, free and easy. Hopefully you get the idea now of why ranking well on Google Places is no small matter. It gives your living, breathing business a living, breathing presence in the world's primary local business directory. Of course, it's not absolutely necessary to handle all of this yourself if you don't have the time or would rather spend your resources on other aspects of your business, doing what you do best. Plenty of businesses allocate some resources to professional online marketing consultants, and for good reason. These specialists have a thorough understanding of Google Places and other tools out there and are constantly keeping themselves up to date with the latest techniques to build web presence. By keeping one in your corner, you'll be sure to maintain a forward-leaning strategy when it comes to the online world, stay a step ahead of your competitors, attract new customers and leads, and reward your business with a well-deserved ROI. Well, until next time, thanks again, and have a great day.